you wouldn't tell her about. No. Oh, my, come on, I wouldn't do that to Emily. Yeah, but it's not just Emily. We were all there. Yeah, she did have it very tough. A definitely set her her eye or whoever's eye on, on Emily for last season. So it was difficult. I mean, not only did they find out that A was Mona, but her girlfriend's body also showed up outside of her house. So, how many houses did you build? I think we finished about six. The girls have all had a couple months off, and they've all done their own things. Emily built houses in Haiti. And they're coming back to it being Labor Day weekend, which is the second anniversary of Allison's death. Um, so now they're coming back and being in, in Rosewood again, everything's really setting in for all of the girls. Is that a car? Oh, it's just the wind. Oh, be careful, Em. They're already pretty strong. Maybe for you, you're a pixie. I've gotten really good at this. An event happens in the first episode that is kind of going to set the tone for the rest of season three. And the majority of this season is going to be finding out what exactly happened that night. Show me your boobs, A. Does Mona have a 10-year-old brother? A for annoying. Mona was found out to be A. But then at the end, there was that little twist of, is there a higher power, A? Is there a group of them? Is there just another person involved? You'll need to wear it while you're on this floor. Mona is in Radley Sanitarium, so as in she's locked up. But things are still happening to the girls. So she's either really smart and able to, like, get out at midnight or something crazy, or she has some help. Your friend is here. Can you say hello?